So first off, please excuse my appearance because I'm not wearing any makeup A and B. Obviously my hair is up. Um, I'm gonna like work out after this video, so I don't really want to wear makeup. But this video is going to be how I pluck or tweeze my brows. So, um, I have had my eyebrows tweezed, threaded, and waxed professionally, I guess you would kind of say. Um, but every time it's still not the way I like it because technically your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. But I feel like every time I go out and get them done, it's like more like cousins and they just... I'm not always happy with them, so I just do them myself. Okay, so I am definitely not a professional eyebrow singer. I did not go to brow school, okay? My eyebrow hairs themselves are actually kind of long, um, and my unibrow hair things, um, I'm not going to show you how I do that just because... You just pluck them out. So I'm going to do that when the camera's off. But some of the things that you are going to need are some tweezers. I think that's kind of a given. These ones are LA Tweez Illuminated Tweezers. A pair of skizzers. These are for your eyebrows specifically. You can get these pretty much anywhere. And a lash and eyebrow comb or a spoolie. This one is from the e.l.f. studio line. Okay, so I think this is as good as we're going to get here because I've spent probably like 15 minutes trying to figure out how to make this thing focus. Okay, so Right now we're going to take away these random hairs right here on top, bottom, and at the end here. I don't know if you can see them. I think you can. But those ones that just really just don't belong there, you're kind of just like, why are you there? You're going to take away those ones, okay? Okay, so you also, to get the bottom random hairs, you may also need to brush your eyebrow hairs up so they kind of look crazy. And then go back in. Okay, so once you've kind of cleaned up the bottom, you can take your brush again and just brush it down so you can do the top. Okay. So now to do your end right here the easiest way all of mine are still kind of in a bunch so when I know my line needs to stop you're gonna need something long this is just the brow comb that I was using so where your eyebrow is gonna start you're gonna put it beside your nostril and line it up and that is where your eyebrow should start Second point, same position. For your arch, you're going to go through your pupil. So that 
is where my arch should be. And third and last is again beside the nostril and you're just going to follow your bottom lash line thing. So technically I can stop there if I want but I do still have some stray hairs down there that I just don't like. So I'm going to get rid of some of those. The easiest way for me is to just pull my hair so I can see what just don't belong. So, for what we got right now, I'm okay with the bottom, top, and end. So, now, I am going to take some out from right here. I just feel like my starting right here is over a centimeter long, so I feel like that's too much. So, I'm just going to take some out just to shape it some more. Okay, so right here, this is where I'm going to take the scissors on top here, just kind of flatten that out, because look how long they are, super long. So we're just going to brush them, take the scissors. And you're just going to take a little off the tips. And then if you feel like you still want more off, then that is where you will take it off. Okay, so as you can tell, I don't have an, a discreet arch at this point. I mean, it goes up right here, but you can't really tell. So how you actually get your arch is you have to remove some hairs right here. But I feel like right now I'm just gonna leave it, do my other eyebrow, and then if this one has more of an arch, then I'm just gonna fix this one. So I did both of them. Yeah, thank you for watching, and make sure to check out all my social media networks. They will be linked down below. Thanks, bye.